Good morning, YouTube. Dude RV. I'm camped out here at Trinidad Lake State Park, Trinidad, Colorado. But we're done here. This was a one night stop for us. And we're going to jump back on the road and head up to Colorado Springs and pay a visit to Cheyenne Mountain State Park. Wonder if they'll give me a tour of Cheyenne Mountain. Probably not. Anyway, Let's get on the road. Go north. Cheyenne Mountain State Park. Here we are. And I gotta tell you, this is cool. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get ready. Cheyenne Mountain. It's from the front porch. Look at this site. This is one of the, probably one of the better sites that we have actually set up in with Miss V. A nice table here. There's actually a water spigot in the front yard and a burn barrel in the right place. Concrete pad. You actually put a tent there. Full connections. We have sewer, water, 30 and 50 amp service. And it's all in concrete. Now this is the group site in the meadows. There is a group site. So this is the meadows. And there's a disc golf course out here. Colorado Springs is down there. But the two, these two sites, yeah, so we're in site 60, and this is 61. They are communal. And what I mean by that is they share a space. So if you've got a couple of RVers traveling together, See, that's ours. Go back up here. 
And look, there's another water faucet. And boom, check that out. Three picnic tables and a barbecue cooker. So there you have it. Right, we're going to head over to the Biltmore so Yappy can get checked in. We are wandering around Colorado Springs. Now, Yappy's got to come over to the Biltmore tomorrow for her conference. So we're trying to figure out where she's supposed to go. Meanwhile, while she's trying to figure that out, I saw this. I thought, that's, that's pretty cool. The steam engine number five, Manitou and Pikes Peak Railways. That'd be a fun toy to play with. It's a bald one. More cool stuff to come. Stay tuned. You are here. All right. We've been wandering around Colorado Springs and we've come back out to the Cheyenne Mountain State Park. There is Cheyenne Mountain. This is a big park. Lots of trails. Very few of them are very few, if any, are ADA friendly. So we're here at the very front visitor center. So we'll go check this out. The wind is blowing like crazy up here. blinking it must be on so this is the visitor center and store where you can get all of your Cheyenne Mountain apparel well, the wind is finally starting to die down you can see the bush, bush bushes aren't going too crazy we're doing some laundry y'all have seen if you've been around for a while you've seen the review and the the discussion I had about the washer and dryer. Now I don't use the washer and dryer on a regular basis, but when we're on a trip like this, <laughs> I'm so glad, I'm so glad I invested that money. We're set up over here, washing clothes, drying clothes, as dry as the air is up here, won't take too long for them to dry. And of course, I'm using the dryer too. No more dirty clothes. All right, I'm gonna go cook a burger, eat a burger, and I'll catch up with y'all in the morning. On top of the world. Well, actually, I'm not on top of the world. I'm at the highest point that I can scooter to, Cheyenne Mountain State Park. What a fantastic vista. Beautiful sunrise this morning. And then there is Cheyenne Mountain.
Uh, most of the most of the campsites in Cheyenne Mountain State Park, uh, mostly RV sites, are full connection, meaning we've got sewer, electric, and water. And apparently they're a very busy park. Of course, it's right outside of Colorado Springs, so what do you expect? All right, let's go see what else we can see. If you're visiting Cheyenne Mountain State Park and you've got some kiddos that you need to wear out and burn off some energy and you're too tired to take them hiking, well, you can let them come over here and play in the play structure. Well, here at Cheyenne Mountain State Park, if you have dirty clothes, they have a laundromat. They have a place for you to wash your clothes. You can actually probably wash your dog in there too. And they have an activity room. Of course, that doesn't look like there's a whole lot of activities going on here. But they have board games. We're running out of stuff to see. All right, if and when we come back to Cheyenne Mountain State Park, these are the two sites that I would prefer to be in. Number 38 and 39. And here is why. First, I really like 39. It's a double width concrete pad. Of course, it's full connection like all the other sites are. Table and fire ring are in the right place. It's right there at the patio front patio and look at the view to the horizon <laughs> you see down in the valley most important we've got bushes blocking that wind and the wind is blowing gusting up to 48 miles an hour today but there's oak oaks on both sides so you're well protected lots of privacy I like this one, 38, also, but the view's not quite as uh, open. So, that's my two cents worth. It's going to be kind of hard for you to see them, but you see there's a person standing down there. There are several tent sites right here by the restroom. today is not a, a good tent camping day with the wind blowing the way it is I cannot believe how windy it is I don't know how well it's going to show up but that's the entrance to the NORAD facility Cheyenne Mountain Air Force Base is what it's called now but it was originally built as NORAD. The movie War Games. Right there. It is just so windy. Barely keep my hat on part of the most of the time. We're going the ratty pack and I we're going for a walk. And it's so so very windy. We're gonna go back up here in the on one of these hiking trails. Dogs like it anyway. This is the common area for the next two camps adjacent to us. This is a really nice park, except for the wind. And the trails, I, a lot of these trails, uh, I think I could probably bring a little red on some of these trails if, if I had high gear. Uh, without the high gear, I'm not not willing to get out here on these trails with the medium battery power. So we'll just shuffle along a little bit, show you what it's like. They're they're good trails. Come on, Tex. Come on, heel, heel. Where's the rat? Where's the rat? One of the irritating things, and I, and I use that word very loosely, 
it's just a little bit of a bother because apparently we are in bear country and you are not supposed to leave anything outside any of these water containers cooking utensils eating utensils drinking utensils stoves grills coolers cosmetics You're supposed to put it all away so that means basically you're break, breaking camp every day the neighbors that I had yesterday on that side they didn't put any of their stuff away they just left it all out almost time for supper and since I'm in Colorado I thought it was most appropriate to have some Wenzel's Lone Star meat the chicken bacon and cheddar brat sounds tasty and it's gonna be even more tasty since I'm cooking it on charcoal there you have it Wenzel Lone Star meat.com hey they'll ship just about anywhere in North America and if you ask for the dude RV special they'll send you a sticker or two and give you a discount on your meat how cool is that? so windy I have come down the mountain you see there's the mountain that's where we're camped up there there is a museum here at Fort Carson so I'm gonna go check that out but meanwhile I thought I'd look at all the tanks they have out here I'm sitting in the parking lot of the Fort Carson Museum and Visitor Center. I, I thought I was just coming in here to, to, to get some content for the, the Cheyenne Mountain State Park video. But after walking through the museum and the memorial, I'm pretty choked up. Um, it's, a, it's a very somber. So therefore, this is, this is going to be a standalone video, a tribute, if you will, to those brave souls who have sacrificed for us. <sighs> I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it, it really it touched me. It really did. 
So please take a few moments and reflect on the sacrifice that so many have have the ultimate sacrifice that so many have made not just the the veterans but the families of the fallen if you're a veteran who served in any capacity thank you i'm not sure if you can see it but there's a a deer right there we're gonna see if we can get a little bit closer to it look at that how cool is that Cheyenne Mountain State Park. We are wrapping it up, getting ready to get on the road. I just had to give you that, that final sunrise on the mountain parting shot. We're headed to Lanthrop State Park, another one-nighter. Remember, click on the subscribe button and hit that bell. You don't want to miss another Ute RV YouTube production. Every Sunday morning, 10 a.m. For those of you who have subscribed, Thank you so much. Showing you this is why I do it. Thank you so much. Y'all come back now, you hear?